I've got a lot of different things that help me get higher during my sessions. And believe it or not, a lot of the stuff that I use comes from Amazon. So I'm going to show you 10 things that can help you get higher and you can get them from Amazon. And what a better day to show you than Prime Day. Look, if you're watching this video after Prime Day, it's still good stuff, but it might not be as cheap as it is today. Also, if you have Amazon Prime, link that to a Twitch account. You can subscribe to my Twitch for free. It's the easiest way to support me. YouTube doesn't want me to get paid. So if you see anything in this video you like, make sure you click one of my links below. And also bring your Prime over to Twitch so I can get that Jeff Bezos weed money. But here's 10 things to help you get higher. Look, we got the lighter, bro. I don't even do combustion as much anymore. But this is still one of my favorite things. I have it on my desk at all times. It's a bottle opener. It's a screwdriver. It's scissors. It's a knife. I do my unboxings with it. It's a really handy tool. I know they make other versions of it. I think they have a mini version and they have like a multi-tool version that you can use like a screwdriver and stuff on. This is still like one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have. And bro, it's like solid metal, stainless steel. I, I've had mine for, I don't know, like eight or nine years. It's rock solid. Everybody needs a lighter, bro. It's better than any other lighter sleeve that I've ever seen. It's super dope. Next on the list, we have glass adapters. If you've ever watched one of my Twitch streams, sometimes we, we put pieces together. Sometimes I use certain things with certain pieces of glass and I need adapters to make it happen. If you just go into any old shop, they usually don't have a lot of adapters. Some of them do, but I can find any very specific obscure adapter, 14s to 18s, 18s to 14s, double hitters, triple hitters. I use this bad boy for triple rips. There's a lot of different stuff. You can do two hoses on one piece. You can find a lot of different stuff. It's gonna be marked as lab equipment. So make sure you just check the joint sizes. But I end up finding a lot of the obscure joints where you're like, I wanna have a splitter that has a 14 on one and 18 and then a 10. You just look on Amazon, eventually you'll find it. You might not find it in a head shop unless you have somebody making custom stuff. So I have a lot of wild adapters from the Zon. Next on the list, I've been getting this specific six pack of Glom Mop. Uh, the single packs, the triples, the, they're more money. This one is like one of the best deals. But also, if you just look into bamboo cotton swabs, I'll put a, a link for those as well. There's a lot of other non-branded ones that do a good job and you can end up getting more for cheaper. Sometimes they're just not as good. Like these are the XL 2.0. They're nice and thick. They have a round end on one side and a pointed end on the other. Very great for concentrates. Cleaning supplies are essential. Now, actually, I meant to show this one first, but look, isopropyl alcohol, 99%. I've been buying this for a little while now. You can get gallon jugs. You can get a lot of other options, but this is really cheap. You get a dozen 16 ounce bottles. I fill up a spray bottle with one of these, you know, every now and then I run out, just bust out one of the refills. There are other options, but this is what I've been getting. In a pinch, you can go to like, you know, Walgreens, CVS. Sometimes they have 70%. Sometimes they have 91% there, which is better. But the 99% does the best job. I this is what I use for the most part. Next on the list, we've got nylon brushes. So a little bit different than Q-tips. These are gonna be reusable. It's good for cleaning stuff. I use them a lot when I'm doing flower vaping because I got little bits of AVB I wanna brush out of my bowls. But also when I was doing a lot of combustion, cleaning out down stems with these bad boys, sometimes they, they just get so caked up with resin that even when you clean it, you're like, it's still looking nasty. So a little bit of scrub action on here. There's a lot of different sizes. I know I've bought over the years a few different like multi-size packs where you just get every different size. Some of these I fold in half, like I'll fold the brush in half so I can kind of brush out or swab out a bowl a little bit easier. These are really cool. I recommend everybody uses some type of a reusable nylon brush because look, the Q-tips can only get you so far. The swabs can only get you so far. All right, next on the list, look, I'm plugging my merch. This is not an essential. It doesn't count as one of the essential items, but look, I got the, the sit before you rip shirt. Eh? Eh? We got a lot of my cool merch on here. None of this stuff is pre-printed. You can just uh, order it, have it sent to you. I know I have some pillows as well. I'll put a link for that. It's some of these logos just on a pillow, but we got hoodies and V-necks and all kinds of stuff, tank tops, long sleeve shirts, raglans, I think they're called. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link for my merch. Next on the list, ruby pearls, quartz pearls. I end up getting a lot of bulk pearls. I have a few packs that I got from Amazon. And you're essentially just looking for, you know, different sizes. I use like three mil, four mil, six mil, depending on the piece. But it's nice to have these around, like a lot of them, because I just lose them. 
they, they end up in the vacuum. They end up on the floor, especially the clear ones. You're like, nice. Nah, I swear I'm going to see it, bro. I, sw I swear I didn't find it. But I bought like packs of quartz pearls that I reuse over and over again. You lose a pearl, you just go to the 50 pack and you grab a new one. You look at a lot of these shops at some, they'll sell you a two pack, two pack with a banger, but they're really not, they're not selling them in bulk. All right, next on the list, we have an air purifier. This is one I'm using right now, Membrane Solutions. They have some different filters that you can put in there, helps clear the smoke out. This is very nice for keeping the air clean. I know it's really cool to like, oh, I want a hot box. I want to have smoke lingering. But like that lingering smoke's not going to get you higher. So if you're really trying to keep your house nice and clean, you don't want to smell like you've been smoking all day. Something like this is great. I have an air purifier in every room and, and people come over to my house and they're like, I, <laughs> I thought you smoked a lot, bro. Some people expect my house to like, reek of weed like they're just gonna open the door and like a cloud of green is gonna come out the front door but i <laughs> we keep it clean around here i got clean air i got air purifiers and look everybody should have one especially if you're smoking in the house a lot like papers doing a lot of combustion this can really help clean up the air next on the list we have storage jars there's a lot of different stuff that you can find on here I've, I know I've seen a lot of varieties. The best jar for storage isn't going to be clear. You don't want light to come through it, but also you could just put your jar in a shelf, in a drawer, and then no light's gonna come through it. Cause I end up using a lot of mason jars, ball jars. Most of the stuff that I get though, I'm not buying it in bulk. It's a little bit different than when I shopped in Colorado. I get a lot of pre-packaged eights. So it's like, ah. <laughs> I'm not going to benefit too much from taking it out of the thing that it's been sitting in for a month and tossing it into a jar if I'm just going to finish smoking it by tomorrow. But anytime you get bulk, anytime you have a lot of stuff, you're trying to store flour, glass jar is the best way to do it. And then also you can find stuff like this where it's painted so you're not going to have any light coming through. Next on the list, we have two-way humidifier packs. These are good for a lot of people. Again, if you have a lot of flour that you're trying to keep fresh, you're gonna wanna keep it in a jar and then have something like this in there if you're gonna try to store it for a while. Now, you're most likely gonna wanna use a 62% or a 58% relative humidity, but it's gonna help keep your flour fresh. If you have flour that's too dried out, it can bring a little bit of moisture back. If you have flour that has too much moisture, it can suck a little bit of that out. But these are good for anybody that has a lot of flour. You buy flour in bulk. I use these from time to time, and I think that they're really good. Okay, last on the list. <laughs> Look, it, I swear it's essential. No, you need it, bro, you might. Look, I have found a variety of different snack boxes on Amazon. You just, you get a bunch of random snacks where you're like, it's hard to buy all of those individually, but you just get one box with a bunch of stuff in it. I've also done like foreign snack boxes. I know you've probably seen some of the videos that I have on there, but you get a box of some Japanese candy, some Korean candy, some candy from Turkey or something like that. And you're trying stuff you would have never been exposed to. So definitely, if you're trying to open up your munchies, I think I might have to do like a, a snack along stream in the future where I tell everybody to buy the same snack box and then we all go through together and just eat the same thing. I think I did like one of these recently and somebody was pitching that idea and I'm like, look, that would be kind of cool. Everybody drops, you know, 15, 20 bucks on a snack box. I pick a day for a stream and then everybody's like, hey, yo, we're all eating the same weird orange flavored chocolate bar. Seems like it could be a good time. But look, that was 10 things, right? Those are those are 10 things that you can get from Amazon to help you sesh better. A lot of that stuff I use every day. And look, take advantage of Prime Day if you saw anything on Super Sale, but take advantage of that free Twitch subscription you can get once a month with Amazon Prime. It's the easiest way to support me. YouTube doesn't want me to get paid. Either way, have a lit day, my dudes.